are sitting here today with Leela Meacham, who is the best-selling author of Roses as well as Tumbleweeds. So I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi, Leela. Hello there. Thank Melanie. you for sitting with me today. My pleasure. Leela is also my cousin as well as an author and so we're going to get to her heart and I wanted to ask you a few questions. You are an inspiration to so many women in so many ways. How did you write the book? Will you share with us the story how it came about in a nutshell? Well in a nutshell actually I was 65 uh, and I had uh, run out of everything you wait till retirement to do. And I asked the good Lord one morning, not expecting any answer, uh, if he would let me know what I could do with the rest of my life because I was still healthy and I had hands and feet and eyes and so forth. And I wanted to put everything to work. And he told me I should finish a novel that I had started and put on a shelf 20 years ago and I never expected to opened the box again and I was told to finish that novel and it turned out to be Roses. And so after you wrote Roses, how did it come about to become published? Well again, I, I was promised as well as told that if I would write the book, uh, he would do the rest. Mm -hmm. And so he did. Uh, I uh, never expected to go through all of the um, pain of getting my book published. Uh, I, I just was going to write it and that was it. But then I had a friend who, her niece is married to David McCormick who is a top literary agent in New York. So one thing led to another. I contacted him through Aunt Louise and he liked the book and after some revisions that he suggested, he's a very good editor, uh, why well, he submitted the book mm -hmm. and it was accepted and the rest is history. And so it was a bestseller. Roses was the first week it was released? Yes, it was. So were you surprised? Oh, I was shocked. <laughs> yes? Was everyone totally surprised? Totally shocked. Uh, well, I, I can only speak for myself because I was the only one uh, around at the time, other than my friends who were readers, of course. They all bought the book and all, and they loved the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say that. They didn't say they liked it or enjoyed it. They said they loved the book. but. I believe uh, the folks up in New York, my editor and my agent and those associated with the book, um, they were very, very happy. Yes, I bet they were. <laughs> so you've also written Tumbleweeds. I have written Tumbleweeds. And so you went through a similar process with well, Tumbleweeds? Well, by the time I, uh, Roses had been out and had achieved the success it had achieved, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I knew I would not have to go through uh, the wickets. I, I already had a publisher, I had an agent, and it was a matter of writing the book and seeing what they thought about it. And they obviously thought it was uh, a winner. Uh, then um, it was published and it did go on the New York Times bestseller list uh, within four days of its publication. That obviously does not happen to all of us who write books. Right. So do you feel like you are walking in your purpose Oh. Because of the fruit that you've seen come out of what you've produced yes. on paper. Oh yes, I, I do indeed. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to do this at this stage in my life. And that's why when people say, well, don't you wish you'd started writing earlier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say, well, it just wasn't the season. Right. And so what advice would you give women that are desiring to live a life of purpose and to fulfill their destiny and what they're placed on earth to do. Is there any kind of direction you could give men or women mm -hmm. that are trying to figure it out? I don't know that I can do that. Uh, I, I would say um, listen, listen to a realistic uh, voice within you. Uh, when I meet people, um, and they find out that, uh, that, you know, writing books can be lucrative. Oh, they'll say, I, I, I think I'll write a book. Yes. That's a flighty notion. But if you feel deeply and earnestly about a drive uh, in you that leads you into a direction, why not go there? Why not try? You never know 
how things are going to turn out unless you try and, and, and commit mm -hmm. and commit. And that means perseverance, that means sacrifice sometimes, uh, and it means focus. In other words, you are diligent in pursuing what you feel drawn uh, and called to do. So you are also saying you have to, I'm taking that you're saying you have to put in the time and the effort and be yes. willing yes. to do the work that yes. it also takes. It's not going to just happen exactly. out of nowhere. Exactly. A lot of people want to achieve the end result without doing the homework right. required for the results they want. Mm -hmm.